Well, hello, my beautiful Scorpio. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Julie here with your monthly reading for June 2024. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about pretending to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings and I will never reach out to you personally to offer one. Also, I will never ask you for money, e-gifts or donations. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Scorpio, this is your monthly reading for June. I'm going to get all of your cards first before I connect to an outcome. I can't believe June is here already, but here we are. It's been a bit of a roller coaster of a year, but are you prepared to go faster? Is that even possible right now? This month is all about evolution and drastic change. Uranus, a planet born out of chaos, enters center stage this month to really shake things up a little bit. So hold on to your hats as life throws a few curveballs into the mix. Now, this can be personally or on a global scale, but on a personal level, you are making important Important changes this month to positively affect your future. Now that could include detoxifying, decluttering, relocating, or thinking about changing where you live. Uh, some of you will have new focuses that make your heart sing with joy and your mind feel at peace to release the pressure and finally put your own happiness first. Now, there has been a lot of heavy energy recently, which will lift slightly at the beginning of June. The first 10 to 12 days are super positive for the collective as Mars enters Aries. And this passionate partnership is actually amplifying ambition, gives you new energy, focus, drive, and really accelerates the pace to rise up, overcome challenges, and tap into the energy of success and achievement. It's a perfect month to launch that new vision, that new business idea, sustain momentum on things that you already have in motion, really focus on your goals and be proud of your efforts. And you may even have a passionate romantic encounter this month, especially since Venus reappears, enhancing romantic opportunities and deepening current connections. Now, Jupiter, planet of good luck and prosperity, also makes a grand entrance this month to soften any hardships you may have been experiencing or to diminish tensions, and it can lead also to brief positive financial shifts on a personal level. However, these alignments may also cause a bit of a push and pull as they all jostle with a very chaotic Uranus energy, leading in some cases to crisis negotiation talks, sudden changes, and course corrections, both personally and in terms of world events. Now, we are really entering some very complex times, and mid-month, as you Uranus moves into Taurus, especially on the 18th of June, this could bring some shocking financial news or even some rude awakenings regarding future plans or changes that are to come. So you may hear something on the grapevine of what is in store in the future. Um, it's really a mixed bag of pressure with pockets of positivity this month. I can't lie to you there. Uh, but we will move deeply through and out of Gemini season and come to the end of June with our focus firmly shifting on what's more important in life. Our happiness, prioritizing our family, our soul tribe, and deepening our connections to offer support and stability and move forward for a brighter future for all. Now, um, looking at your cards, they're actually uh, really positive. The overarching energy indicates there is change here for you this month. Um, but some of you, uh, with the Nine of Swords there, I feel like you're releasing your worries or trying to move away and have more faith and belief in the pathway ahead. Also, also, I want you to be aware that, you know, you are going to be governed by your eighth house this month, and that's all about your joint finances, 
transform your finances for the better. Uh, this could be you looking at mortgages, repayment plans, uh, credit card debt. This house, it transform your finances so there's a little bit more money in your pocket. So you'll be able to save a little bit more or at least take down some debt so that you can really get clear with a uh, financially clean slate. Uh, maybe even some of you will put in like a budget to help you streamline your finances and cut out anything that perhaps you don't use anymore or you don't utilize as much. Things like subscriptions that perhaps you really love but you just don't have the time to really connect to them. Whatever it is, I definitely see that you're focused on your finances at the beginning of the month and some of you may even implement new money-making ideas into the mix there as well. Now, your third house of communication is going to be governing you towards the end of the month. And this is about finding your voice, really speaking loud and proud and expressing yourself and your ideas. Also, you're heavily connected to the law of attraction this month. So really um, believe that your thoughts become things because anything that you call to mind at this moment in time, it will become your reality. So it's a perfect time for you to visualize and communicate to the universe what it is you desire to manifest, what steps you need to get where you want to go or accomplish whatever it is you desire. Also, uh, this is a time period where you may feel very voracious when it comes to knowledge. So you may be taking a course of study or you may actually uh, decide to investigate uh, new things or new information in order to inform yourself. Some of you may even have hunches about something that you feel is to come and you may actually uh, investigate a little bit further to find out the facts on that. So I definitely see that your third house will help you uncover cover any information that you are seeking at this time. Also, some of you may utilize your voice to basically use it as a cathartic experience. You may decide to write a book or write about your experiences, a blog, or even express yourself online. Um, I would say definitely be careful about what you express online right now. Um, and what I mean by that is, for example, if you're in a career, you know, it's really important that, of course, speak your truth. You know, I'm saying be very authentic in what you say, but also be a little bit diplomatic because if you're slating off your boss online, for example, I feel, you know, there is a potential it could be seen and it could be um, sent forward to the person in question. So that's what I mean. You know, basically, if there's something that you want to say about this person or to this person, perhaps being a little bit more direct towards the person is important at this time because I feel things can get uh, misconstrued or even misinterpreted during this period. So just watch what you sort of like express online about a person, you know, especially if you don't want them to see it, okay, is what I'm saying, because I feel it has the potential to be uncovered in the month of June. Now, also, this is a period where you may think about taking a quick trip. There's definitely travel here for you in the month of June. So if some of you have not planned something right now, you may suddenly spring into action and decide to book it, whether it's a quick trip away for the weekend or whether it is an event, a festival, uh, because we have the Empress card twice here. So it could be you getting out into nature um, in some sort of festival event, or some of you are actually taking some time out to rest and relax and really just unwind. Um, but looking at your overarching energy here, I feel a lot of you have been going through some very tough things, okay? Um, I feel like you're turning your life around at the moment. There's really a very strong energy here that you're achieving a lot right now, and it may not feel like it, but you've been going through a lot as well, and you've been making it work. You've been showing up for yourself and really powering on through, despite how exhausted you feel, because you have that Nine of Swords there, and we also have the King of Wands, which is an energy card, and it's in the resistance position, so it tells me that a lot of you, and I've mentioned this before, it's like on a soul level, you've been giving it your all and therefore you're exhausted. So getting quality rest or respite is important, even if it's like an evening to yourself, if you're lucky enough, or, you know, just really uh, kicking back and relaxing and do something that really inspires you and replenishes your energy. Sometimes if you've got a hobby, for example, that really makes your soul sing, then that's something to tap into to change your vibrations and replenish your energy but also change those vibes that you feel happier. But ultimately, I feel a lot of you, uh, your body is calling out for a rest right now. 
Now, also, some of you, because I am getting this very strong energy before I even touch one of your cards, there's this energy here of sometimes you feel like no matter what you do, it's never enough, okay, because you have such high expectations of yourself. But I feel June is a month to breathe. You're doing everything you can with the circumstances that you have in this moment, and you're doing a lot, and you're doing it really well, and you should be really proud of yourself. But I also feel this need to compartmentalize each step because you're going to get closer to your goal and closer to accomplishment, but sometimes when you see the bigger picture, it can feel really overwhelming. So this month, I feel smaller steps towards whatever it is you're trying to accomplish. You've got this. I really feel that you're on uh, target and you're gonna be very productive and you're gonna get a lot of stuff done here, but I feel this is a month to kind of breathe, okay? So let's get to your cards. The first card there is changing cycles. So some of you are looking at the cycle of repeat in your life right now and looking at where you're feeling dissatisfied because you have that seven of pentacles crossing it so something feels like you're doing so much work but it's not fulfilling or perhaps you've been doing a lot investing a lot but you're looking at the payoff and you may feel it's not really equal right now so for some of you this could translate into your job if you feel like you're picking up extra work in the career environment maybe because you're seeing some redundancies or you're seeing um some shifts when it comes to uh, delegating work and you see that people are piling more work on top of you and you just feel like it's a lot and you're starting to look at your pay grade to see if there's alternative opportunities out there for you to increase your finances. So some of you may be trying to subtly change your um, financial outlook by looking for new opportunities. For some of you, it could be that you are happy where you're at right now in your career, but you're thinking about changing neighborhoods or perhaps you feel that you have got into a cycle where you feel comfortable, but now you want challenge. You want something that really excites you. So I feel that you're definitely changing things around for the positive. Now, also this card indicates that some of you may literally be looking at where you feel like you belong in the world because you have the chariot card here as well. And when you get the wheel of fortune and the chariot, this is an indication that some of you are thinking about changing direction or changing where you feel like you want to live right now. This could be a change of nature neighborhood, a change of uh, area, it could be a change of country. So some of you could be thinking about emigrating or you know, seeing what is the best place for you right now, because I feel collectively, everybody's really checking in with the world, what's going on in the world and looking at those experiences and those circumstances and then feeling that either they're happy to stay where they're at or there's a shift and there's a move. I feel the collective right now are thinking about moving. You know, I feel this shift happening across the board and this may be just thoughts right now, but for you, there's an energy here of you uh, really taking charge of something in order to create security in your world. And I also feel this energy of you have so much responsibility on your shoulders right now. It feels very much like life has got pretty busy and you're the sort of sign that works hard but also plays harder. So I feel if you have not been having as much fun as you used to or you feel there hasn't been opportunity for you to kick back and relax, in June, you're going to find that time for yourself, okay? So I definitely see that uh, there's good fortune happening here for you. There's some really good luck coming in here, but I feel like you've been making your own luck. You've been going out there and happening to life, not just waiting for life to happen to you. And I feel this is a month where you start to see all the evidence of all the hard work that you've been putting into life in general. I'm not talking about career. I'm talking about friendships. I'm talking about relationships. I'm talking about investment in yourself, and I'm talking about investment in your environment. I definitely see that there is change and there is a payoff here where everything starts to become fruitful for you. It's almost like June is your month of harvest, okay? But also I feel there needs to be like balance and reciprocity. So all your hard work, there has to be some level of payoff. And that's not just, uh, you know, egotistical or selfish. It's the law of the universe. You know, for every um, thing, there is an opposite. So I feel right now you're calling in the opposite. So all that hard work, you know, that you've been investing in or all that energy that you've been investing in you, you're starting to see results is what I'm being given. For some of you, it could be that you've been down the gym training really hard and June is a month where you look back and start seeing the results of all your hard work. For some of you, it could be that you've been investing in launching your own business and suddenly you're starting to see uh, the fruits of your labor come to fruition. 
If you're thinking about launching a business, this is a great month to do that. But if you're putting a money-making idea into practice or you're launching something, I see that it will be very successful long-term and it'll go quicker than you expect. Even if you've measured how long it'll take against how people have done it in the past, you're going to see that your uh, business idea or whatever it is that you're setting up is going to go a little bit faster than everybody else's. It's your dedication, your drive, and your focus this month that is taking you to the top, okay? Now, of course, if you are retired, uh, this energy could be that, you know, you've been investing uh, on a personal development path, reestablishing your faith, really looking at where you feel like you belong in the world. Some of you may be thinking about um, moving abroad or uh, having a holiday home, for example, or some of you may even be traveling to see family who are abroad during this period. Um, also, some of you, if you you know, um, invest in a garden or growing your own food or herbs, you may actually be tending to uh, nature right now and see that there's been a lot of growth. And I feel uh, now is the time to cultivate whatever it is that you have been investing your time, care and devotion on. And that's across the board, whether you're retired or not. I definitely see that you've been investing in something that has been really hard and you've been really patient with it. And you haven't been seeing the rewards, but June is a month where you get that good news that rewards are headed your way. Now also the Seven of Pentacles is a card that indicates some of you are at a bit of a crossroads in life. You may be opening up to new strategies or you may actually reimagine something that you really want. Reimagining something doesn't mean that you're giving up on it it means that you're actually approaching it from a different angle. So I feel here um, something that perhaps you have uh, manifested isn't exactly what you thought it would be, and it may not have been as fulfilling as you thought it would be, and now you're kind of trying to improve on it, okay? Also, I feel that you're having the courage to admit when something isn't right for you, and it doesn't mean that you failed at it or that you're letting it go. It means that you've matured to a position where you recognize you've learned something from it and you're moving on from from it. So I definitely see a level of maturity, spiritual evolution going on here this month as well. But the Seven of Pentacles, it can indicate that things have been hard, okay? And you've been putting everything that you've got into uh, whatever it is you're trying to uh, aspire to in life. And I feel you've met with a lot of delays. You've been waiting and I feel you've had to have patience as well there. But I feel things are like leveling out where you have enough, okay, but you're just trying to build upon it. That's what I'm getting, this energy of how can I build upon it or build my empire. You know, I also feel that some of you are going to be investing in self-development this month. So this could be through meditation classes or courses of study. Uh, for some of you, you could be learning more about money and how to utilize your money so that it makes money for you. Acquisitions, how to compound, things like that, because you've got two pentacles here. Now, as I said, your eighth house is governing you this month, so I'm not surprised to to see two pentacle cards there as your protagonist energy. You're all about your money, creating security, building upon what you have and trying to increase more. So some of you may be setting up second streams of income, or if you have second streams of income, you are trying to give a um, moderate amount of time to both so that you don't burn yourself out. Now, the King of Pentacles can also indicate this is going to be a very busy month where you're just focusing on your tasks and responsibilities. And sometimes that can feel a little bit dull, but it's really important to recognize that it streamlines your life. It keeps life running smoothly, okay? So I actually feel with this King of Pentacles that you're on top of those things, but this is an increase in ambition, and I feel like you're being really practical. You're putting your knowledge into everything that you uh, touch right now, and you're turning your life around. I see major lifestyle changes in the month of June, and some of you may even develop your spiritual gifts or try to hone your intuition even further this month, because I'm really Really getting in this sense, especially from the moon card, um, that it's almost like some of you, and don't you the messenger when I say this, because the moon card with the nine of swords, I mean, they are in the resistance position, okay, which, oh, let me just uh, get that there. Um, it can mean that some of you feel uncertain about something, or there's something here that's been worrying you, but it's almost like you don't know what. I'm just getting this energy. It's like a little knot in the pit of your stomach. It's almost like, you know when things are going really well or when things are just going well for you, 
there's always that, where is the fly in the ointment energy? You know, I just get this energy that you're trying to protect yourself from anything that could go wrong right now. So I feel here that there is nothing to worry about, but there's this sense of what next or this uncertainty because the moon card can really represent uncertainty. And uh, I feel that actually there's nothing to worry about here. Have faith. Okay, I feel that this is you silencing the inner critic because sometimes, especially if you've been conditioned to expect the worst because the worst has tended to happen to you, whether it's in relationships or friendships, if you have been betrayed in the past or if someone has, you know, breached a confidentiality, for example, you know, whatever it is, I feel like you're expecting the worst, but actually you're going to get the best. Okay, so if there's something you're worried about right now, know that things are going to work in your favor and this is a very fortunate month for you. Now, of course, the moon card is all about self-reflection. And for some of you, because you've been so busy with basic tasks and responsibilities, I feel like you haven't had enough time to implement these self-care routines. You've been neglecting your own needs. And some of you actually have uh, a talent that you have neglected a little bit because you've been so busy or focused on other things. But you're going to reconnect to that talent this month, and it actually may turn into a money-making idea. It's something that's creative. It's something that you used to dream of doing once, but you may have um, sort of not abandoned it, but put it on hold in order to focus on something a little bit more serious, or perhaps this is what you were led to believe it was more serious. But I feel like you're tapping into a level of creativity in June that helps you open up to something that uh, could eventually become a business if that's what you want. But ultimately, if you don't want it to become a business and you just want to have it as a release, a cathartic energy, it could be something that you're writing or painting or you know creating with your hands because I'm getting this hands-on energy here. This is something that's going to be very cathartic for you and it just helps level out emotions. Now, some of you may have been going through a, a very uh, intense period of fluctuating emotions or even hormones, and I feel some of you may actually invest in a practitioner or someone who is in a position of authority who can help you with health, for example, because the King of Pentacles can be someone who is knowledgeable, who can help you regulate those emotions or those hormones, and um, I feel some of you, it may even be connected to this not in the pit of your stomach, for example. So some of you, it could be that your hormones are off. I mean, for some of you, it could be that you're going through the menopause and it is increasing certain emotions. And, um, you know, you're trying to get hold of that. And I definitely see you're going to find someone who can help you with that. For some of you, um, it could also be that you're coming to an end of a cycle. Some of you may be thinking about retiring, for example, or you're deciding to leave an environment or a person or a situation. And with this change, there is this sense of the unknown, but actually everything is going to work in your favor and it gives you a sense of freedom and release. Um, also, this is a card here of um, tapping into both elements. And what I mean by that is, you know, the moon card is a duality card. It means you're tapping into your sense of stability, you're self-reliant, uh, you're independent. And also, I mean, there's also this energy here of you finding comfortable stable energy. So I feel, you know, there tends to be a dog and a wolf on the moon card and the dog represents uh, a feeling of uh, being stable in an environment that is long term or tapping into that sense of comfort. And of course, the wolf is someone who forges their own path, very independent. So some of you may be trying to tap into both worlds there. And um, for example, if you're an entrepreneur, you could take a long-term contract or even a seasonal contract and do something that you uh, do independently for yourself. You could become your own boss. Um, if you are someone who perhaps has been living at home with your parents and you've been trying to save money in order to either purchase your own property or be able to afford rent elsewhere, suddenly you, know, you may decide to become independent and um, either purchase a property or even um, rent something and move out of the family home. So I really get this sense, please apply it to your situation because it's not going to resonate for everyone in those scenarios. But I really get this sense that you're establishing your sense of independence. Okay. Now the moon card also indicates that there is a hidden reward here or like not just an untapped talent, but also I feel that there is an opportunity, a successful opportunity, some really good news that is not materialized in your world just yet. And it's going to show up at the end of June for you. Um, this is something you will celebrate. Uh, it is really great news to the point where you will 
you know, tell people around you, your family, your friends, who will share in your good news. So there is cause for celebration because I'm seeing glasses um, clink in the water and that tends to tell me there's something to celebrate. But also, I mean, self-reflection, big philosophical month where you're really just checking the exchange of life because you tend to put your all into everything that you do. And right now, I feel like you're in a mode of prioritizing because everything is important to you, my beautiful Scorpio. And it's almost like you see the list of things that you want to accomplish and you try and like fire yourself at all of those things because you want to accomplish all of those things at once. But sometimes that's just not possible. Sometimes with our expectations, we almost set ourselves up to fail or feel that we're failing because I always say there's no such thing as failure, only a learning curve of how to approach things in a different way or reprogram yesterday in order to inform today. Um, so I feel this is uh, an energy here of you uh, basically prioritizing things that are most important on your list so that you write maybe three things that are really important that you must accomplish on that day and then anything else is a bonus rather than putting 10 things on your list and saying okay these are all really important so you put all those things on there and at the end of the day you've only accomplished three because those were the most important and you spent a lot of time and focus making sure that it was right and then you look at the other seven things and think oh I didn't do that. Rather than leave the day with a sense of being deflated, I feel by turning things around and writing only three things on your list that are critical and then anything else on that list that you accomplish is a bonus, it really sets you up with this sense of accomplishment that you are dominating and building upon your empire. Now also the moon card, I'm really getting a sense here of you tapping into your subconscious mind this month, really tapping into your spiritual awareness, your spiritual gifts, anything that's in the resistance position, it will go into the upright here. So this is about connecting to your dreams and goals and really accomplishing things. I feel like you're even going to surprise yourself with how strong you are and how much strength it is that is required to change your circumstances, but you're capable of it. Okay, so I feel like you're going to kind of become super aware of how capable you are to affect change in your world, but also accomplish so much. You're going to leave the month of June feeling really proud of yourself, even though there are chaotic energies around you right now. And some of you may be very worried about the world at large and the trajectory it's taking right now, because, um, you know, the moon card in this position, along with this king of wands energy, and the Nine of Swords, it can indicate that you are a little bit mistrustful of people in positions of authority right now. You're not really sure how things are going to work out. So you're trying to tap into your sense of intuition to protect your position, protect your family, protect your finances. And I feel like you're on track. You're someone who is acutely aware of the undercurrent of life, whether it's through people, you know, that you're watching uh, their behavior, you're really good at reading body language, but also you're really good at you know, uncovering BS. And that's from everybody's mouth who crosses your path. So whether it's something you're watching online or whether it's something that someone is saying to you in front of your face, I feel like you are really looking at the subtext this month, tapping into your hunches and paying close attention because I feel there's something here that gets revealed in the month of June where intuitively you felt it was coming. You felt it was going to happen and you're going to be proven right. Now, you may not really want to be proven right on this, whatever this is, but I feel like you will be and it really highlights that so your intuition is on point. So don't ever uh, mistrust that. Now, uh, very thoughtful this month. I feel, yes, you're going to be very busy, but also I feel you're going to find pockets uh, to have time to yourself to reflect on uh, what's been bothering you, your fears, your hopes, because we do have that Nine of Swords there. Now, the Nine of Swords, which is this one here, can indicate some of you have not been sleeping um, as well as you could be. Uh, there's an energy here of um, being highly affected by moon cycles at this time. We are experiencing a lot of different energies. Of course, the moon is very magnetic and it is throwing off a lot of energy right now, but also we're having very increased solar flares at this moment, which ramps up energy and it can actually give you uh, a sense of pressure on your shoulders, also create migraines and uh, affect sleeping patterns as well. So some of you have been affected by that, but I am being given an energy here with this uh, nine of swords and the king of wands. Are you doing too much before bedtime? Are you on your phone scrolling, thinking about ideas of what to do, what to implement? Are you, um, it's almost like 
you come alive at night. That's the energy that I'm being given. It's almost like you work really well at night and you come alive at night, especially before going to bed when you're lying there. Suddenly your mind is becoming like a supercomputer. So I feel it's really important that when you're actually falling asleep to focus on the things that you really want for your future, almost like move into uh, the subconscious mind, visualizing the life that you aspire to be living like you're living it now. Don't be, you know, of course, scroll on your phone if you want to, but I'm just getting the sense of light and energy affecting you before you go to sleep. So it may be something that when you close your mind, see the visions in your mind rather than on your cell phone. That's what I'm picking up here. But of course, uh, you'll do what's best for you, but I'm just picking up this energy that some of you may, um, you know, find your way to scrolling. Like, I mean, I do this sometimes as well. Scroll on my phone just before bed. And I was tired about half an hour ago, but after a couple of reels, suddenly I'm really wide awake and I'm like searching for other things that come into my mind, you know. And I have also been given this message but I'm just being given it now for your reading. And, you know, I'm a Scorpio too. So obviously they are hitting this message home, not just for you, but also for me as well. And by they, I mean my guides. Um, but also I'm picking up something else here. Uh, the Nine of Swords is to silence the inner critic because some of you have been super critical with yourself recently because you've been doing everything that you can in the circumstances that you've got. And I already gave you that message. But some of you feel it's like never enough, even though you feel super drained. So I feel some of you have to be a little bit more compassionate for yourself. And this is a lesson you may learn in the month of June there. Uh, but also I feel that something that you're worrying about, you find out there's nothing to worry about. You know, this is a card where you're going to be having faith that things work out in your favor. Also, some of you may actually have some uh, nostalgic moments this month where Things from the past that haunt you or have haunted you in the past may try to raise their head and it changes how you feel. But I feel you're going to look at things this month almost from a detached fashion. And this means that you have processed it, healed it, and moved away from it to the point where, yes, it was important. Yes, it shaped who you are or shaped how you experience life or how you do life moving forward from that. However, I feel it no longer holds weight or power over you and your future happiness. So I feel like there's a major breakthrough emotionally for you this month as well. Now, the Nine of Swords, you know, it can also indicate that um, there are new possibilities becoming available to you and it means change. And whenever a change happens, we can sometimes feel a little bit nervous, a little bit daunted about the uncertainty of what is to come. But looking at your outcome, it is so positive. There's so much uh, prosperous energy here. Uh, the chariot card indicates success, movement forward, removing obstacles. There's just such an exciting time that is ahead. But right now, because you're in the midst of like chaos or in the midst of doing something, it feels like nothing's changing or it feels like you've plateaued or there is some sort of stillness in your world where you feel like you're not really moving as forward as you had hoped at this time. Now, also, we've got the King of Wands there. The King of Wands is to influence your circumstances, and we've got it in the resistance position right now. So um, this can indicate that some of you have felt that you are working on something behind the scenes, you know, and this could be a project, a goal, something that you have dreamt of accomplishing for quite some time, but you may feel you're not ready to reveal it because the moon is a very hidden energy. So some of you could be hiding this from uh, friends or family, for example, because it's not ready to be revealed, or you feel that you haven't got all the variables in place to launch it right now. I mean, there are two kings here as well, and male or female, not a gender-specific reading, it's about the energy. There could be someone here, and I will pull a card on it. There could be someone here either that you're worried about or you're keeping an eye on right now. This could be someone who is uh, trying to push your buttons or trying to abuse their power. And that's why I get this sense here that some of you are um, keeping an eye, a uh, critical eye on what's going on in the world because you may mistrust people in positions of authority. You may feel they're abusing their power at this time and you're trying to work out like an end game of what it means with the steps that they're taking. What's the general outcome so that you can almost like preempt 
how to protect yourself against these changes or how to be flexible to um, be ready for these changes. So I've really got that coming in here as well. Um, but also this could be on a more localized scale. For some of you, it could be like a boss that perhaps has been bullying you or someone may make like a very subtle pass at you that is not professional this month and I feel like you nip it in the butt. Um, also, some of you, I'm getting this really strong energy that although your emotions have been fluctuating, it feels very much like some of you have been drifting or have been a little bit numb or feeling a little bit in limbo recently. It's almost like you've been on autopilot, just doing. You've got responsibilities, you're just adhering to those responsibilities, and you're really working out, like, is this it? Is there anything more? And I feel like this month, in the month of June, you're going to tap into a part of yourself that you feel like you've been detached from for quite some time or you've neglected because you had to compartmentalize. Uh, yeah, return to better times. Okay, um, and I feel this is also about you learning a lesson that you are a gift in life, a gift in terms of a friend, in terms of, uh, you know, a neighbor, in terms of a, a co-worker. You know, you bring your A game to everything. You invest so much of you in everything that you do and in everybody that you encounter. And sometimes you've had to learn the very hard lesson that reciprocity does not always exist. But you have started to recognize that you're not allowing other other people's energy to affect your own and you're still going to show up for yourself. You're still dominating your energy. You're just lowering your expectations of what people sort of offer you at this time. And I feel like you're being super self-reliant. But also, I really want you to be aware that these cards indicate uh, something really positive. A return to better times, but also the universe bestowing an offer towards you, something that's going to be emotionally and materially lucrative for you. So this could be like uh, an opportunity to get a promotion, a raise, for example, or an increase in a benefit. For some of you, it is a token of appreciation from someone that you really care about, who's really close to you. Could also be some kind words that come your way, a compliment. Um, and also, I feel some of you may actually reunite with some friends that you haven't seen for a while, and it really just makes your day, okay? And they may even give you a gift. I feel like there's a friend who has a gift for you. It may be a card or a token, as I said, of appreciation, but I feel it lets you you know that they've been thinking about you, even though they may not have been there for you at you know the moment that you may have needed them. I feel this person may have been going through something themselves. And sometimes, you know, in authenticity, we can't always be there for other people. Sometimes we got a lot going on. And the true maturity is to see that friendship, you know, it ebbs and flows, you know. So if someone's not there for you all the time, then of course, that's a one-sided friendship. But true friendship is, you know, dipping in and out of each other's lives, being there when you can be there for a person, and also, you know, wanting the best for the other person. So um, I really feel uh, moving away from the energy, the Ace of Pentacles indicates that, you know, there's so much potential for this month to build new memories, to have fun, to let your hair down, but also to accomplish so much. And you're bringing your A game. I definitely see this as a power packed month. And the Six of Swords definitely indicates that you're coming out of difficult times. You've been through some very testing times, but now you're being guided out of that period and you're in a transition period towards something better, something greater. And I feel things are going to get a bit calmer for you um, because I feel, you know, you've been going through the ringer recently. But also the Six of Swords indicates some of you are discovering new lands. So uh, that can sort of translate as you're going to check out a new restaurant in your neighborhood or you're going to join a new group of people or pick up a new hobby or investigate something that you didn't know about. I'm also being drawn to the moon card because a lot of you are going to submerge yourself in like documentaries regarding the mysteries of the universe or the unknown or you know like true crime and things like that. I really get this sense of you know things that are hidden coming to light or finding the truth on something and I feel a lot of you are almost testing your knowledge on that. I'm just being given, it's almost like uh, a book I'm being given right now, like, like Mind Hunter. okay? I want to say that. So it's almost like you understanding the human mind. Um, I mean, some of you may even like work in the legal system, trying to understand human psyche of why people do things. But it's almost like, the way I'm being given this book is like, 
it teaches you patterns of behavior and then you sort of apply those patterns of behavior that are typical to situations and test your knowledge to see if you can find out who done it, right? Because that's what I'm being given there. So, I mean, for some of you, it could be that you're attending a festival like a who done it, you know, like a, a mystery weekend of who done it. Um, and it's going to be a really wonderful time with you and your friends. You may travel. Um, I'm not sure why I'm being given this, but it's popping up, so I must mention it. Uh, but also, I mean, the Six of Swords is really about the getaway, okay? Some of you are really looking forward to a vacation or a holiday at the end of June or at some point in June. Even if it's a quick trip, it means it's a breath of fresh air. But there's a lot of potential here for some fun and also prosperity. I feel like there's new money coming your way as well. So it could be a rebate tax rebate perhaps, or as I said, new um, benefit or maybe some of your um, acquisitions or uh, your investments may increase this month. And I feel, you know, there's some good news on the horizon there. I would also say if there is someone that you are, and this is not going to resonate with everyone, but I have to mention it. If there's someone that you work with or yeah, I, it's mainly I'm getting this energy with work. If there's someone who's a bit of a creeper at work, okay, I'm just getting this energy that, um, especially if you're invited to like a, you know, like an office party or something like that, just keep your eye on this person that you are not alone with this person. I don't see anything like untoward, but they may try to make a pass at you and it feels uncomfortable and it may change a dynamic. I mean, you shouldn't have to watch out for yourself. This person should conduct themselves in a professional manner. So it's all on them. I'm just saying for you, just, you know, keep an eye on it. That's all I'm saying, because that's coming through there as well. So uh, just watch out for that. Now, moving away from that energy with respect, uh, we've got the Empress card and we've got the Empress card twice. This is really exciting. This is your outcome energy. So this is about you nourishing yourself, investing in yourself, birthing new ideas, feeling really satisfied that you've worked really hard to accomplish whatever it is you set out to do and seeing the fruits of your labor. Also, this is a card where um, I feel like you want to get out and spend time in nature, really ground yourself, put your feet on the ground, feel the grass between your toes and really connect to the world around you. Also, the Empress energy indicates that, you know, abundance, of course, is headed your way. This could manifest in the form of a promotion uh, or an increase in, um, you know, your finances, but also an increase in luck is what I'm seeing there, too. I'm also getting this very strong energy here of you reconnecting to your sense of self and all that you've created and really feeling proud of yourself. Male or female, not a gender specific reading, it's about the energy, but also I feel this is a group of friends or a group of people who've known each other for a long time that perhaps have not spent so much time because of life got in the way. Reuniting is what I feel in the month of uh, June and it just feels really good. Also, of course, this card says creativity. So I feel like you're exploring your talents and your gifts at this time and creatively finding solutions to any problems that you may have encountered over the last coming months. Uh, but I feel that basically this is about you blossoming. It's about you feeling comfortable in your own skin. And for some of you, if you have children, for example, uh, some of you may um, be like taking your children on a trip or a vacation or to a festival, maybe school holiday type time, um, half term or whatever it is. And I feel, you know, you may be um, going on some really excellent adventures with your children, but also I feel, you know, you're still spinning plates. So it still feels like you're doing at the same time as enjoying yourself. There is balance here. Now, some of you, of course, are launching businesses or launching creative ideas this month that are going to be very lucrative. I would say June is a month to get going on it, even if you feel like you're not ready, because the King of Wands can also indicate that some of you feel like something isn't ready, or you feel a bit nervous or shy to launch something but you will know intuitively when the time is right. Especially if you're a perfectionist, there's a really important message here that sometimes when this level of perfectionism starts to creep in, you know, the inner critic says it's not ready. It throws doubt into the mix. So I feel like you're overriding that inner critic this month in order to reveal something that you've been working on and realize that actually the time is now. You can't live in the past. You can't live in the future. You only have now. So I feel like you're just going for it. And as I said, you're bringing your A game. Now, also, we have uh, the chariot card. So major movement going on here. This is really you showing up for yourself, making progress, seeing the evidence of success, 
for all the effort that you've put in, but also this is about your commitment to your goal. Your sheer willpower is going to take you to where you want to go. And that chariot card indicates there is accomplishment, there is triumph here. Also, the chariot card indicates you may have to make a major decision at the end of the month, but I feel like you got this. And either decision, because you've got the Empress twice, either decision, it will give you the best out of each situation. So I feel it really is a win-win situation for you there as well. Now, some of you may have been thinking about upgrading your car or uh, thinking about uh, purchasing a car, maybe. Uh, I feel this is a great month to do that. I would definitely say that um, if you have someone who's into cars, bring them with you so that they can really hear the sound of the engine because I feel, you know, there's going to be a lot of really great cars out there, but I feel for some of you with the Nine of Swords, there's this energy of... Um, you know, uh, finding something that maybe needs to have a little bit of work done a little bit later on. So um, make sure it gets serviced or, you know, that there is someone who's looked at it before you purchase it. That's what I'm being given. Or if you're very knowledgeable about cars, then, you know, do a little road test on it because I feel you may just notice a few things. These things are fixable, but you may actually decide to negotiate a better deal when it comes to price because you know what you're talking about. I feel whatever car this is, they've tried to, um, you know, put the price up a little bit, hoping that no one will notice. But I feel like you will notice. You always cast a critical eye on everything and you know. So um, also with the chariot card, this is an energy of travel, vacation. So I feel very busy month, being very productive, maybe trying to tie up loose ends, focus on your goals and make sure everything is done before you take that trip. And I feel with the chariot card, you're going to enjoy that trip as well. I don't see any delays for you which is random, okay? Normally, uh, during this period, there's delays, but I feel there's no delays. You're being given free passage um, towards uh, some sort of travel there, and I just heard a bicycle made for two, so maybe you and a friend or your partner, if you have one, is going on a vacation, or perhaps it's you and a sibling there is uh, coming through there, so please take it as it resonates. I mean, looking at the energy, because there's so many people here as well, I feel this is a big month for you to focus on your soul tribe as well, the people that you call your family. And I feel there's this energy of protection of everybody supporting each other, even people who have perhaps pushed your buttons. You know, sometimes we all get on each other's nerves, but we still love each other all the same. So I definitely see uh, a togetherness here for some of you and I definitely see you walking away from anything that is toxic or anybody who undervalues you. Um, I feel like you're really empowering yourself this month. Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Green Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Scorpio? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to be aware of? Okay, so let's get some final cards for you. Okay, so we have Remembering. So that did pop up in your reading that uh, it's going to be a very nostalgic time, which may trigger you a little bit, but actually it shows you that you're over something and that you should be really proud of yourself that you're moving on from it completely. It says here, people, events from the past. I definitely see you reuniting with people that you really care about that you just haven't seen for a while because, you know, life, um, knowledge from the past lives or memories from the past. So I feel something from your past comes to benefit your present moment. So that's really what the Empress energy is all about. The seeds that you've already sown in the past and nurtured and watered and invested in are now starting to flourish. So uh, this is really something that you invested in a while ago is now starting to bear fruit. This is your harvest time. Also, we've got walking away. Okay, so again, this is cutting out anything that you've outgrown or anything that's toxic or even feels like it's in your path and trying to hinder you. Um, withdrawing from a situation or a person, leaving the past behind. So that's definitely coming out here and learning to let go. And I feel like you've learned a very tough lesson throughout the whole of your life about letting go of things, evolving from things, maturing, changing, you know, um, evolution is your middle name. So I feel you've been learning your whole life to uh, move forward and not have attachments, which has been very, very difficult and sometimes may have caused some level of sorrow. But I feel you're getting comfortable with this sense now that you're evolving into who you're always meant to be and you are attracting all the opportunities and the people who are meant to be in your life and who raise you up inspire you and actually um, you know change your vibrations for the positive 
Also, we've got Direction. So this is a big month for Direction, actually, because you have the Chariot card and you also have the Wheel of Fortune here. So uh, I feel like you're kind of approaching your Direction in a different way, almost like tweaking your plan, not completely changing lanes, but I really get a sense here that you're looking at your sense of purpose, um, you know, looking at the path that you're on and really looking at where you feel like you belong. So checking in with your plans and seeing that the plans you already have in motion are starting Starting to bear fruit. It says here, being on the right path, finding direction in life, and your own North Star. I actually feel like you are your own North Star. You're shining your light. You are a beacon of light for others because you're very strong. Um, you take uh, life by the horns, as it were, and you run with it. You don't allow life to get you down. So I feel here that this is about empowering yourself and looking to the future and how your present moment can change your future for the positive. And also we've got perspective there as well. So it says here, change the meaning of the issue. Experiences shaping perspective and reflecting for change. I mean, you got self-reflection and you've got changing cycles. So that's exactly the energy you're in right now. Philosophically thinking about your priorities at this time and tapping into your inner sense of awareness of how you want your life to be, how you could be living your best life. And that reflective period will actually throw up a lot of answers for you so that you can affect change, okay? So I'm just gonna go and get a drink at our room before we close. So we have the spider. I'm loving that because the spider actually is all about good luck. Uh, it spins the web just like a dream catcher. You know, uh, a dream catcher is shaped in the shape of a, a spider's web. And that's to capture all your dreams, your goals, and also to, you know, capture nightmares as well, to keep them away from you. So I feel this is really a time of attracting better things, more prosperity, and good luck is on your way. It is highly connected to the Wheel of Fortune. So this is a really lucky month for you. And also we have the Water Ruin. Now, the main energy I'm getting from this is Hydrate. Okay, more water needed. Some of you are dehydrated at this time. Uh, it's not what this rune means, but it is something that I'm feeling from this rune straight away. So I must give you the energy as well as the meanings of each thing that comes out. But this rune is all about your emotions. It's also about your dreams and your goals. Um, you know, trusting your hunches and your intuition, but also it is about being inspired, new ideas, new exciting steps, and... Um, you know, removing temptation and drama from your life. But also this is about your psychic development. So a lot of you are going to receive major downloads this month and even get a message from someone in spirit to let you know that they are helping you along the way. I'm actually seeing a beautiful gray feather right now. So um, this is an indication, perhaps a sign from someone in spirit to let you know that they are helping you achieve uh, less stress, peace of mind, and to let you know that you're on the right path and that you are protected during these uncertain and sometimes troubling times. You've got this. And I feel like uh, there's a whole line of ancestors in spirit walking beside you and you can feel them. It empowers you, but they're going to let you know of their presence in the month of June in particular. So maybe there is like uh, an important date in June that is coming up. This person is around you, but also I feel there are others around you letting you know that you are one strong cookie. And I definitely see here that you know, life is about to take a turn for the positive for you as well, okay? So I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in this reading for you, my beautiful Scorpio. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is so important for me too. Thank you so much, my beautiful Scorpio, and love and light.